the good thing about it is nothing wrong was done with them. The bad thing about them is nothing right was done with them really either. So they're truly a blank slate. Wait. Now this is pretty much normal when somebody gets like an eight week old puppy. These are four months old. So they missed that beginning part of their education. All they had was each other, so they were very cautious about paying any attention to what I was doing. So that was two days ago, and we introduced them to the concept of keeping the lead loose, of being tied, and of being patient and handled. Now they're nice to be handled, you've done a lot of that, but they haven't had a lot of tying. You're starting to do that. That's something that I can't do here really. I mean, I can do it, but you, it wasn't very pretty the first time. Now that you've, even though you didn't remember everything, you went home and did some of the stuff, what you remembered. That's perfect because it takes a month. You got a month to make a couple mistakes, to back up, do it again a month before it's a habit. So while you're learning, you're gonna struggle with it a little bit, it's okay. You wait. Now wait means something else is gonna happen, it means I'm gonna come up here, wait. Good wait, Bucky, good wait. He has to know that what you say, if he does, he earns praise. Good wait. You're not a good praiser. That was the other thing the other day. I said, tell him he's good. That's the only reason he's going to do it is for if he knows he's pleasing you. So instead of a treat, acknowledgement, praise. Sometimes that's more important actually than your paycheck. There's a lot of people who work hard for a living. They have to really struggle to get their paycheck. Now look at how calm he's being. Good, easy, good, wait. Okay, so come on, come on Bucky. Good boy, easy. Now this is where we're gonna teach him the position to walk in. Good, wait, good boy, wait. Nice. Wait. Hey, you better wait. Off comes your head. Good wait. What really happened? Nothing. I just held him, held him there. Good boy. You ready? We have to go both ways. Now we've done this once, so it's not the first time, but he's doing it better this time. Come on, babe. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Good job. Come on, babe. Good boy. Come on, Bucky. Good boy. Good, come on. Come on is that fun out in the field, running in the same direction you're going. Not next to you. All over. Come on, good dog. Hey, Bucky, come on. Come on. Yes, I mean you. Good boy. Good, come on, Bucky. Good boy. Wait. Nice. Wherever you're at, put the brakes on. Now, if he's running towards the road, you want to be able to tell him, wait. Not just next to you. Wait. Good wait. Nice. Now we're getting it. Good. All right, so we have come on, easy, wait. That was simple, wasn't it? Easy, when you say easy. It's easy is less than your intensity. If you were being, you know, you're playing a card, okay, easy, we need to be easy. Getting a little, you know, escalated. Good. So now we're gonna teach him a new command with me. With me is a hula hoop distance, that's your recall. Okay, I introduced him to it. He's not good at it. Look at you, Saddle, oh, what a guy. 
I can praise the heck out of him. It's hard when the puppy's driving you nuts to find things to praise, I know that. Okay, you ready? Good. Bucky, with me. With me. Easy. Good with me, Bucky. And I can tell you've been walking him. Good. Yep, but look at him. Wait. Good wait, Bucky. Good with me. Good wait. Magic number three. Good. Good wait, Bucky. So you're saying say it three times? No, I'm saying we need to do it three times so that he really connects that. We didn't have three great times last time. We had success. I didn't quit without success, but it wasn't pretty. You wait. Thank you. With me. Now this would be like you'd want to walk with him, wouldn't it? Good with me. Sure it would. Tuthy, are you playing a game? I thought so. Hey, you with me. She's a wonderful distraction. With me. Nice. Good with me. Nice with me. Oh, look at you. Wait. Beautiful. Now you want to be able to walk both directions. With me is not a particularly demanding position. It's a distance. I want a dog, when it does with me, to come either on the right or the left side, not in front and not behind. Hey, Bucky, with me? Nice. Very nice with me, dog. Oh, look at you, look at you. Good with me, Bucky. Wait. Nice job, look at you. You're a genius. Good boy. You are such a good with me dog. Oh, look at you, look at you. Good with me. Wait. Now, if all you ever taught these dogs was come on, easy, wait, and with me, plus settle, you wouldn't need to train one more thing in your life. You could live with dogs like that. But, good wait, good sit. If we want them to learn more, good settle. This says you've been tying them because last time, neither one of them had a shred of patience. Look at this. That's a, that's a, geez, he's done really well tonight. Yeah. But you know, they still pull on the lead. <laughs> you gotta look for the positive, girl. Not what's wrong. Good. All right. Now I'm gonna skip this ahead because these dogs are capable. Once we get the foundation stuff um, in the GED process, we can skip. They don't have to go 12 years. We can skip some of the, you know, little steps. And I'm gonna do that right now. Easy. Hi, you. Good baby. Now that takes away his need to just stay in a spot. I released him from the weight, he's up. Okay. Hey you. Good boy. You are just an excellent dog. Now, people who don't have a lot of physical limitations sometimes skip over teaching the dog to work at a level if you were injured you know now all of a sudden you've had surgery now you can't walk the dog anymore now you can't okay now these dogs are so easy to train 
good or bad. So if they aren't taught good, they're really excellent at bad. And they're serious. They're multi-talented actors. They have all sorts of layers. So too many people allow that silly stuff to play games. The fact that these dogs weren't allowed to treat people disrespectfully made them so much easier for you. You have to teach them how to treat you. Okay, you ready? With me. Good. Now, to get this dog used to being next to a wheelchair, it's not that you need one, but if you take him out to visit anybody, who knows? Easy. Good. Good with me. Good eat. Oh, this would be your mother, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it's true. Good with me. So the center line is not to work him at the tight, at tight. It's to keep him in the right area. Easy. Good. Wait. It's to teach him that when I come over here to visit people, it's none of his darn business. Oh. Good wait. This also conditions him not to be afraid of bulky things. Um, the other reason it's an advantage when I use it is because when I stand, I'm pretty intimidating because I've corrected them. Well, by coming down, it's easier for lesser people, and I don't mean you're less, but you're not, you're sitting in the chair and I'm standing up being in charge. So we have to give this dog a sense of, you have to be approachable too. You can't just be this boss, okay? Um, I get a lot of different dogs in here and I am the boss but I'm also approachable, and that's important. Okay, we're gonna teach him another new word. With me. Off. Off means get your four feet on the floor and don't touch me. Good off. Nice. With me. Off. By having a predictable circle to walk in, easy. With me. He can predict exactly, and so can you, where everybody is. Off. Pull him into it, off. Nice. This is a lot for a four month old puppy. This is a little bit easy. Hey, you with me. Off. And turn into him. Good off. With me. Nice, nice, good with me, off, very nice job, good, hey, easy, wait, now one of the hardest things when you're teaching a dog to walk on a loop is that hands are so inconsistent. I could tell yours were just because of the way you were talking about it. Hi! And it's normal. You're in the majority. Okay. So, that's the reason I invented the cue walker. You're gonna love that. Because you can have as fun a dog as you want to, but when you say side, he's to get over by your side and walk like a little soldier. Hey, easy. Good. This dog's never seen this before. This dog's four months old. Perfect age to start teaching them another new word, which is side, which means get your little butt right here, and we are in the military. You're fine. Side. Go 
Good side. Get up here. Good side. Nice. Off. We've introduced him to all the words we need. Now we use them. Off. I have him tied in the center just so he can't wrap around me or get panicky. I want to see. Good off. I want to see how he's going to do. When people are learning to use this, a person can hold on to that to help you get started. So if you have a dog that's really struggling, the dog's tied to you. So you wouldn't want the dog to be able to whip around you. So to start out with that second line is really important. He's not giving me any problem at all, is he? Easy. Now this teaches him, you're not ready to have one of these yet, but this teaches him a useful word and because dogs learn by averages, when you do the with me, just doing this will make the with me better. Side. Good side. Yeah, he's a terrible dog. I don't think we can get him trained at all, do you? He's probably had an hour of training total. Good side. Excellent side dog, off. Very nice job. Good side. Wait. You have to teach all the words, then you use them. We can't do, we can't use this to teach the words because we would be at a huge disadvantage for a puppy that's jumping all over you and all that. So you do the, the two lines to start with. And now, how inconsistent are my hands? It really doesn't matter because I'm not hanging on to him. So for people who are this way, which you are, no, you are in the majority. It's why people have trouble with dogs, because the dog is trying to avoid the correction. You're fine. That's why I invented this, because the only difference between success and failure was the way people handled the lead. And you, you see people pulling back on them and jerking on them and holding them tight. And How can the dog avoid that? Hey, you wait. So do you think that's intimidating to the dog? What? Moving your arms all over the place, short. Okay, if you're if the dog's getting a correction every time you move your hand, on the, on the collar, you're how in the heck can he avoid that? The goal is to teach him to avoid being on a tight lead. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Now, easy. Come here, honey. Good. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. What the heck's my doll run? Well, aha! It's not about a doll rod with duct tape. Off. Good. Side. Good side. Get up here. Good side. Now, the correction, if he's not in the right place, comes from my knee. If he's not where he belongs, Wait. Good wait. It's just a guide. It's not to hit the dog with. <laughs> I wondered what you were going to do with this. Yeah, but it, it's a visual so I can put it in front of him. I can off. See? I'm not, it's not to hit him with. Side. Good side. Very nice side dog. Wait. I think there's hope. I do too. <laughs> okay. That's not hard. Not hard at all. It's humans that have to change. The dog is fine. Okay, now this is a baby. So we wouldn't want to get too demanding about the side at his age. Okay, he can put on his little pretend uniform and he can march. 
but he's a little kid. Too young for military school. But he's been introduced. Good boy, look at you. Look at how excellent you are. I know, it's terrible.